Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Welcome. Post back procedure stream. Casso, Caoso one. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Good to have you in right at the beginning. Um, so yeah, we are we are chilling tonight. There is no no instrument playing, no drums, definitely no drums. Uh, I had a uh, not surgery on my back, but it didn't feel far off from how uh, I don't know how painful it was. <laughs> Things went how other than the Discord update? Uh, yeah, they were right. It was it was brutal. It was savage. It was extremely painful. Uh, so that wasn't fun. I was I was not expecting that. But um, I for the rest of the day I felt pretty good. Today I feel pretty sore. But uh, finish your latest YouTube video with the literal s the literal second the stream started. That is pretty amazing, dude. I didn't like it, so I thought I'd follow. That's a reasonable response. Thank you. Um, glad you enjoyed the video. Or I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, you said you didn't like it, but come on. It's pretty good. <coughs> um, yeah, new new YouTube video is up. We have a brand new Playing Strangers music on Omegle stream, stream video up. Pretty happy with the result. Seems like the older we get, the we enjoy endure more pain to try and get rid of pain yeah dude it was uh it was pretty it was pretty special it was brutal man like seriously i was like oh, i kind of hurt a bit last time shouldn't be too bad so yeah anyway the nasty bits out of the way and uh and now hopefully we're onto the road to recovery but i am i'm, I'm on painkillers i'm chilling I'm trying not to move too much i'm comfy we got some water we got some sweets and we got some Super Mario Bros. Wii U. So that's the plan. That's what we're going to kick off with. Those videos just make me so happy. Awesome, dude. I'm so glad. That is exactly the reason I made them. So I'm glad that is the, uh, glad that is the result. Right then. Oh, we don't want the chat there, do we? There we go. All right, so we are playing a a classic. I've not played this in a while. I've just got it working on uh, on emulation, so I've no idea how this is going to go. It might just fall apart, you know. Ah, and I've already pressed the wrong button. Awesome, cracking start. We gotta get we gotta get comfy here. So I've not managed too much today, but what I can absolutely handle is just sitting around playing nothing. Playing nothing, sitting around doing nothing, playing games. So you just give me a break, alright? <laughs> hey Shabello is in. How you doing, Shabello? The music sound, sounds crispy. This is some this is some fine, fine music. Please let me know about uh, levels as well if game audio seems too high. Uh, compared to my voice. Hey, you doing, Shibelo? Good to have you in. All right, we're going to see how much of this game we can rinse in, in an evening. Let's see how we go. That's probably not the best place for the camera to be if we're playing Mario, is it? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Does the music for real sound a bit crushed? Okay. <laughs> that was... <laughs> You may be able to tell I wasn't fully paying attention there. All right. I am going to um, I'm gonna fix this camera. Where's the best place to put it? Let's get in game. And then let's decide where's the best place for it to go. You guys don't need to see the time, do you? Let's, let's put it up in the top right corner, shall we? Bracken start. Yeah, that'll do. And then, where's that thing you got? We can turn that off. Okay, sweet. Ah, 
All right. That's better. Okay. We did it. Thank God. Hey, Wispy. How you doing, Wispy? Good to have you here, my friend. How you doing? Did you figure out the issue with the stream crashing? Do you know what? I fixed it, but I didn't figure out what was the problem. Um, that will that will elude me till my dying day. Um, the fix, eventually, after trying many, 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 many things, was to delete all of my scenes and start a new scene collection and literally just rebuild the whole stream from scratch. Um, and that was it. And I have no idea. Absolutely no idea what it was about my previous scene setup that was making it crash, but it was... Um, yeah, that was really, really starting to get on my tits. But it might be. And yeah, so so absolutely no idea is the short answer. But it's fixed. That's the good answer. That's the, that's the answer we want. Oh man, I've not played this game in so long. I freaking love it. Your ears are going crispy. So when you said crispy, that wasn't a good kind of crispy, was it? Anybody else experiencing audio problems? I prefer 2D Mario over 3D. That is a that's a tough one, man. Because I think I agree. Oi. Okay, so a little a little reminder that we are emulating. Okay, so so okay, confirmation is needed. How is the audio? Is it actually like not good? And is there any any advances on crispy? Today I learned I'm part of the Safe Simon's Tits crew. <laughs> good lord. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bob, what's that doing? It's fine, but we've got some bit crush in there. Right side is fine, but left side sounds crackly. Is that my microphone or is that the game audio? Game audio. Now that is concerning. Okay, hang on, hang on. This is going to take a little bit of a... Uh, on the fly troubleshooting. Give me a sec. I was not expecting that. crispy did me no that's the really weird part because Ooh. yeah dude what is going on there okay okay i can hear that now jesus christ that sounds rough um hang on And you can still hear me. Well done. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, 
I was not expecting that to fix it that quickly. But you know what? Oh my god, you're joking. You can't hear me. God damn it, Kelso. <laughs> you're in for five minutes and you're already uh, sending my cortisol levels through the roof. Okay, there is no good reason that that is fixed, but you know what? It's done. Play some goddamn Mario. Um, how are little E and the cats doing? Little E is doing just lovely. Thank you, Mother Pete. She is... She had a lovely day at nursery today. She's been walking. Like, kind of like with the assistance of people. But she's doing some walking on her own as well, which is very exciting. She's good. She's very happy. She's she's in a good. Um, she's been in a very good mood recently. It's lovely. And the cats are fine. They haven't they haven't caused us to spend hundreds of pounds on hospital uh, vet bills in the last week. So you know, it's always good. So, I am interested to see how much of this game we can actually get through. Assuming I don't end up getting ridiculously uncomfortable and I can chill and sit here. I reckon we could go for a three hour stream. A cheeky three hour. -er. And I'm thinking we could get to at least world four in that time. Somewhere. I just, man, I just freaking love how this game controls. Do you know what, Shabello? I'm, I'm genuinely concerned as to why that didn't song, that song request didn't come up. But you know what? I'll deal with that another time. A happy baby then, not a lot of pent up anger for the world. No, no, no. She will she will learn all of that soon enough, don't you worry. No, she's she's very happy. She's just yeah, she's a lovely little girl. It's crazy, crazy how quickly she's growing up. It's it's freaking me out. Like it's really scary, but it's really awesome at the same time. Don't be concerned to turn the song stuff off to avoid troublemakers like Shabelo. Moto OP, you got my back, man. I appreciate it. Oh, hello. Hey, my dude. Has she shown interest in music? Yeah, yeah, for sure. She is like, anytime there's music or singing on like TV or on the radio or whatever, her ears prick up. She's suddenly listening and she'll just pay attention, which is amazing. She loves playing with drumsticks and like hitting stuff. And like playing with my guitar as well. It's very, yeah. Uh, it's very cute. I was assuming back pain equals no piano today. That was a, a solid assumption. Yeah, I am gonna, I'm not willing to do anything to push my luck. I was not paying attention. I literally looked away at the screen. So, is anyone's guess? All right, we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some chat engagement right now. Literally wasn't paying attention. So, come on, what do you guys reckon? October sixth, we got our first Mario movie trailer. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm kind of scared as well. 
piece of the left. God damn it, Mother RP. <laughs> Do enjoy the game streams too. That's good to know, Wispy. That is good to know. I always feel funny doing game streams. Because it's like, you know, I get that basically everyone that's ever decided to follow me has not done so because of my, uh, my gaming abilities. <laughs> and there I thought you had my back on this stream, but apparently not. Well, this is running surprisingly well. I gave this like a test drive before. And I don't know what it is about CMU. I think the first time you load games, it's it's like it's still like loading stuff. And I was like, uh, okay, that's bad timing that I just said that. And then I got a bit of stuttering. I was thinking like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to stream this tonight, am I? And, um, and then I fired it up again, just thinking like, well, let's see what it's like. And this has just been like, liquid smooth the whole time pretty much so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that and it's just I also it hasn't really like oh that was a that was a bad one <laughs> maybe I should stop talking about how well it's running what am I doing now we know I'm cursed today go with your bellows vote next time I originally followed because you were doing a game stream oh that's a good point that is a good point I, I completely forgot about that. No. Yeah, man, the uh, the legendary 24-hour streams that I am now too old and out of shape for. <laughs> Vulcan can be an amazing thing for emulation. I actually haven't got this set to Vulcan. I've got it set to OpenGL. Is that is that a scrubby move? Tell you what, man. Mario games are just... Ah, oh, god damn it. Are just the ultimate masterclass in level design. It's so beautiful. No, no, what am I doing? Okay, I'm doing something really dumb here. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just being really dumb. Oh, do you know what? I don't even want that coin that badly. Pretty sure I followed it in one of the charity streams. It was either Chase Mario or Mario 64. Oh, the Chase Mario modes of that, uh, of that stream was so good. That, some of my favorite like gaming memories are playing that oh, god damn it chase mario with like my wife and like her family and my family and friends and stuff like it's just like it's so stupid it's so much fun it's so simple and it just it's just like you get that hyperactive i'm a kid moment again it's so brilliant one of these i swear you can go in but i'm too scared to find it hey there it is there it is there it is there it is oh god oh god yeah. Oh, hello. The streams are fun times due to the time zone stuff. We were awake and tired at different times throughout the 24 hours. Dude. I can't believe, Mod RP, you stayed up with me, basically. That was absolutely amazing. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I trying to make life more difficult for myself? I, I definitely missed some stuff there, but you know what? It's fine. Don't 
Don't change it now, but for an R630 series, I'd use both every day. Ah, oh, give me a break. Stuff to use for Steam is whether to use an async shader to compile or not. I don't know what any of that means. And I really need to turn my bar off sometimes. <laughs> you can use the Miiverse. Trust me. No, I can't. Wahoo, I finally did it. Okay, got it. Gotta love that fat mini Yoshi. I was awake for every minute of every charity stream. When the money is on the line, I deliver. God damn, dude. I didn't realize you were up for every single one of them. That is, that is ridiculous, man. I am very, very grateful. It's not that I'm never going to do a... Uh, 24 hour charity stream again. I just really don't want to. <laughs> and like every year, it's like, oh yeah, there's no way I'm doing that again. And then I get like halfway, I get like six months out, and it's like, ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, go on, then why not? And that happened five years in a row. And after the fifth year, I was like, I'm never doing that again. And got six months later, and I was like, I'm still never doing that again. And it's a year later, and I'm like, no. Now it's like over a year. I'm still like, I really don't want to. <laughs> oh yeah, for people who get triggered by me, like not collecting, whoops. Like leaving a single coin, like it really pisses my wife off. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna change now. Oh, Red Shell coming in clutch. Oof. Hours a week is rough when you have stuff like a job, child, and ailments. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the last stream I did, I didn't have a baby. And then I did uh, plenty of staying up way too long after I had a baby. Just none of it was playing games. Well, some of it was playing games. A lot of it was watching TV. Are you joking? Give me a break. Oh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We got it all under control. Oh. How do I get out there? With Yoshi. Oh, you know what? I don't care. If you or shall remember, around 16 hours into the last charity stream, we hopped into the live Discord chat. Of course, I remember, dude. Yeah, that was epic. I remember it well. Thank you. 
Then I found out that Shibelo is British, very British. <laughs> I always kind of f forget like what accent you've got, Shibelo. It's, 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 is it Northern? Is it, I can't remember what kind of Northern it is. It's some kind of Northern. something about that. Why is there a little ledge there? <laughs> this was weird. I remember when this came out, this was like, it's crazy how it blew my mind that we had an HD Mario game, despite the fact that I've been playing HD gaming for like like five years at that point. It was still amazing to see a Mario game in HD. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, what am I doing? Just keeping count on deaths. Where's Dicky Mac when you need him? graphics have aged well for a 3D game partially thanks to seeing you. It does look crisp. Oh, Right, this time we're going to grab Starman. And do you know what we're not going to do? Not going to immediately jump down the hole. Get a 4090 and play this in 8K, dude. I will never own a 4090. I, I knew they were going to be expensive. But God damn, man. I had, I had no idea that, like... How, how tone deaf have you got to be? The crazy thing is, though, is, is saying that... that People are going to buy him. And some people are going to spend more than oh, yeah. $1,700 for them, right? Because that's the thing with graphics cards is that like, basically every time I bought one, it's like, oh, it costs this much. And every time I go and buy one, they always weigh more. I think I spent like 650 on my 3070. And they were meant to be 600. Oh, no, no, less than that, 500. doing scale for mining prices. Yep. It is a piss take. And I'm sorry, but... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, God damn it. Come on, baby. One more greenie. God damn it. Oh my god, I'm gonna scream. I think I think we came out on top there. The age of ghost MSRP slash RRP annoys me to no end. 
it's it's so lame because I always fall for it every time. So it's like, oh, is that only going to be that much? And it's like, no, of course it's not. You live in the UK. You need to get these guys. Because they are so goddamn tasty. Uh oh. There we go. See, this makes sense, right? The stuttering is loading in a bunch of assets that hasn't loaded in yet. I am now really curious to see what using the Vulcan on the CPU is like. I've been building, building PCs since 97, and what I did from 97 to 2012, I spent 250 on a new GPU every two and a half years. That is long gone. Yeah, goddamn, man. Putting PCs is 97, dude. That is epic. If you're using them for gaming, you don't really need the 40 series unless you're doing 144 hertz 4K gaming or above. Exactly. And I am not anywhere close to that. I only just got 1440p. Well, 1440 by, you know, ultra wide, whatever. But even then, like. You know, I've done 4K gaming. I've got four, I've got a PS5, and it's like, yeah, it looks good, but it doesn't look as good as 144 hertz 1080p, in my opinion. A game like Doom Eternal, running at 144 frames in 1080p, looks more impressive than like PUBG in 4K. Oh my God! What? Okay. The jump button didn't work, alright guys. That was not my fault. It was definitely my fault. Cyberpunk 1440p is the max I go. My 28 is still fine. Good work. Yeah, the power. Think about the power it's going to require as well. That's the other thing that scares me. Source materials matters a lot in deciding on whether pumping more resolution makes a difference. Maybe at least. Yeah, for sure, dude, that totally makes sense. Oh, good lord. end up being on the high res front for reasons other than gaming but then i need a powerful gpu to game 1080 screen 1080p screens in 2003 and 4k panels in 2015 i feel like 4k panels in 2015 that's like well, i was like cutting edge at that point i feel like that was before 4k tvs were like standard you know what i mean like, well, no, unless I have a completely warped view, I feel like it's pretty normal to have a 4K TV these days, right? Back in 2015, it definitely wasn't. 8K time, eh? 
I don't think I've ever seen an 8K display in, in person. Little detail I love in this is these statues' eyes follow you. It's so, so slight. But it adds so much personality. Look at that. Oh, damn it. Right. It's going to take a lot of skill. Ready? What's this? Ah, oh, crap. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? 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 No, dude, you're not low enough. Damn it. Hang on. Yeah, and then... Yeah, no. All right, fine. Never mind. Oh, my word. It was rough. I was an AMD 290X and the switch to 4K was a cut punch. Yeah. I'm still definitely not at the point, especially with PC stuff, where like I feel like I need 4K. Ooh, yes, please. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Right, here we go. Here we go. Such a great power. Such a great power up that I'm probably going to lose like really quick. I was giving it 30 to 40 FPS until the 980 CI came along. Rough. <laughs> oh! I feel like I can feel my, my wife in the other part of the house just like a. Just me not. Oh my god. Bad time to pick the drink. Jesus. deaths in two worlds i'll take it what games do you play on pc except minecraft uh i play i'm getting back into pubg recently because my brother has recently got a uh, a gaming pc and he's he's always wanted to get into PUBG, and that's been good fun. Um, I don't play tons of PC gaming really, to be honest. Um, Hell Let Loose, that's a really really good fun one to play with friends. Gritty World War Two shooter. Um, honestly, not a lot else. I've not been. I do not really play much PC gaming at all anymore. Odd game at Apex Legends. That's about it. The days of just loafing on my PC playing video games are. Uh... Oh, you little bastard! They're pretty. They're pretty much over. I think. Well, not over, but like very. I don't know. Doesn't happen very much. I'm spending way too much time. If I've got free time and I'm and I'm on my PC, it's either because I'm streaming or I'm doing some kind of content or music related stuff. 
I was debating buying Hell Let Loose or Squad, which is like a more modern version. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think I've seen videos of Squad and it looks awesome. Dude, Hell Let Loose is really, really great. It's much, much better if you're playing with a team of people, whether it's your friends or whether you get like matched up lucky with like a team of people who are like really into it, which has happened a few times, like just complete strangers who are just like, okay, cool. Here's the plan. We've got our squad lead. He's taking orders from like the generals and stuff and it's like right charlie company you're gonna head to this point and defend and like people are working together when that all like comes together it's amazing like really is like one of the most immersive um gaming experiences i've had for a very 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 long time if you're playing by yourself and no one's communicating it's a bit it's uh, harsh like it's savage and it is very very like tough but it's incredibly satisfying like there's no there's no like ui feedback really at all so like if you get a kill you don't there's no kill feed or anything like that um but it makes it so much more satisfying when you just see someone running across an open field and you get a shot and then and it's literally like one shot one kill type thing so you, they'll just fall down and it's like okay cool i got them my teammates don't know that you know Simon got a kill or whatever. So it's just like, it's just super, super gritty. It's really, really cool. What? I had to buy it with my brother. Yeah, man, like for sure. If you've got someone who you can play with regularly, it is well worth it. And you're into that kind of thing. If you're into first person shooters and like, you know, tactical stuff, it is great. Did that sort of thing 15 years ago with Battlefield 2. One frame and sit back and just general and direct the rest of the team. Ah, oh, dude, that's the dream, man. I wish I had. Because me and my mates are well into Battlefield. Um, Battlefield 3, I think, was where was where we peaked. All right, I'm actually going to pay attention this time. All right, that one on the right is what we want to keep an eye on. I got it. I got my eye on you. All right, it's in the middle. Bad one's in the middle. We don't want it. Easy peasy. Um, so we've rinsed Battlefield 3, and it was great, but it was never like... We never were, like, controlled enough to... Or, you know, had enough restraint. To have somebody like you know take oh sorry take uh, a strategic look at the battlefield it was just like what? let's just go in and see what happens sort of thing but it was great battlefield oh. 3 me and my brother and a friend would just rinse that every single day on xbox 360 it was so good but yeah hell let loose is, is great hell let loose is such good fun and i really want to get back into some kind of sim game like like my my instinct is city skylines but I don't know, like, maybe one I have not played before. That would be the, the smart thing to do. If anyone has any recommendations, I know I know a few people out there are fans of, like, Civilization and stuff like that. I really don't know where to start. And also, I don't know what is good for, like, someone who's not hugely into that kind of thing. So something that is, like, incredibly deep you know really tough really difficult to master really difficult to like get good at that's not that's not the kind of thing as you can see <laughs> the type, type of games I'm, I'm into don't require huge amounts of brain power but i'm up for playing one that does require a lot of brain power because they are very satisfying oh you bastard so yeah if anybody does have any kind of recommendations in that sort of like category please please do let me know Oh, I feel like I missed out on a ton of stuff just then. Battlefield 3 is where they lost us. We were huge into land games of 1942, Vietnam, and BF2. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Did you play that one? Because, dude, that was sublime. Battlefield 3, I, I loved, man. I, I really have to say I love that. 4 is where I got lost. 4 is where I was like, no, okay, I'm good. Oh, this is suddenly kind of stressful. RimWorld is like a colony builder game, but it can get quite intense. It's pretty cool. Friends give up on Battlefield after two. I dip it solo. Oh, I got it. It's quite a different thing when like, especially with something like Battlefield where you've been playing with friends, if they suddenly sort of drop off, it's like, okay, well, it's not quite the same, you know? I feel like I've just missed out on a ton of stuff, but you know what? I'm I'm small and it's dark and I'm scared, guys. I'm gonna get out. Oh, oh, oh! Surely. 
Oh, man, what a, like... What a wasted opportunity. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'd love to get... The thing is, I'd love to get back into Battlefield, but... I, I, from what I've seen from like the latest Battlefield, what is it? Um, 2043? I can't even remember the name. 2076? What is the new Battlefield? 2042? 2047? Man, I'm actually spacing on, on what it's even called. That just looked like it failed on so many different levels. And it's a shame. 2042 is awful. Maps are way too big and vehicles are OP. Oh, yeah, that was it. I just, yeah, I remember seeing videos of people playing and it was just like running, 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 running across a big, like, open space with nothing to do. And then you get sniped. And then the bugs were just like... I get it, like, you know, big AAA games are going to come out. There's going to be bugs and stuff. But this was like... Bullet accuracy was... Was, like, awful. And it's like the one thing, the only thing that a Battlefield game needs needs to 100% get spot on without any question is bullet accuracy. And there were videos of people like, oh, God damn it. I can do it, I can do it. Ah, oh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this. That's more like it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Um, Yeah. The one thing that about a field game needs to get right is bullet accuracy, and I, I literally saw videos of people like aiming at someone dead on. They weren't moving, and and the bullets would go like off to the side. It's just like, are you kidding? Like, was it a bug? Was it some stupid like balancing design choice? I mean, it must be a bug, surely. There's this dumb stealth helicopter where, which can fly miles high in stealth mode, so you can't use lock-on missiles, and regular missiles don't have enough range. But this heli can still drop bombs on you that kill you in one shot. Yeah, that's, uh, that sounds like the definition of OP. It's like if there's any portion of a game, which is like, obviously this is the thing to use. I feel like you've missed an opportunity. Well, not even missed an opportunity. I feel like you've just like, you've sort of betrayed other parts of the game. Can you imagine if there was one character in Smash Bros, which was just like, well, this is the character that you want to use if you want to win. God damn it. Like, it's just like, it's not even bad design. It's, 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 it's neglectful. Like it's, um, What's the word? Malpractice. That's what it is. <laughs> Were you just asking about civilization type games? Yes. I was thinking like I've never really played anything like that. And they look really cool and they look obviously like look amazing these days. And I don't know. I'm I'm up for like changing up the pace and trying something new and Oh my god. I don't think that would be like kinda cool. But like I was saying, like anything that's Oh you joking. Anything that's too deep and that might scare me off will probably just end in tears. Like, I'll never forget when my mates I used to work with tried to get me to tried to get me to get into Dota 2, having never played anything remotely like it. That was. <laughs> I had people saying like, "Yeah, I've put about 150, 200 hours in." I'm still not really sure what I'm doing. It's like, okay, no. No. I'm out. I'm, do I'm good. That to me is just ridiculous. Very much into the mainline Civ games. Okay, fine. I'm very much into the mainline Civ games, but I had a surprisingly good time with a toned down version called Civ Revolution. Not sure if there's a way to play it these days, but if so, give it a go. I prefer 5 over 6. Fair play. 4 over 5. So they got progressively worse as the season, as the uh, series went on.
But that's cool. Civilization Revolution. Oh, what am I doing? Not sure if there's a way to play it. Does that mean it's like super old? Get up there, or can I get some of these guys? Ah, oh, crap. This time, it's gonna work. Ready? Crap. This time, definitely gonna work. God damn it. This time, it's definitely gonna work. Ready? Watch this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh my god, and I actually do need to get over there. It doesn't actually do anything. Oh, Christ. Oh my god, yeah, we get it, dude. God damn it. Alright, we have 85 seconds to finish this level. That is not the way to do it. I remember this bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, are you joking? If you did want to do a kind of game or a league style game, Pokemon Unite is pretty casual. I tried it on my Switch and I put the proper internet cord hooked up to it. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. That would be that would be cool. Because I did see that and thought, oh, they're making a Dota game. And then I thought, well, it's Pokemon. So it's not going to be like as brutal as Dota, right? And is it free? Am I right? I think it's free to play? I'm out of that completely wrong. Oh, look at that. That was some pro strats right there. Uh, I've got a thousand plus hours in Civ 4, 5, and 6. They're just different kinds of take the good with the bad. Oh, okay, fair enough. I do like the flooding and global warming stuff they added in 6, but districts just still annoy me. Take some time to learn how to use districts. Now, as Germany, I can be absolutely production powerhouse. It's crazy. It is free. Oh, okay, sweet. Well, I have absolutely no excuse not to check it out. You pick a Pokemon and you have like two abilities to worry about and you know the objective but it's sit back in your chair gameplay okay cool all right yeah nice yeah i'll check that out definitely casual dota i never thought i'd see the day all right I'm good for the one-up house. I'm good for the mushroom house. Let's just keep it. Uh, I'm going to pick this level. looks like it's going to be more fun. Any interest in turn-based RPG stuff? I had a blast with triangle strategy. Yeah, do you know what, dude? I, I enjoyed, like, the 10 hours or so I put into... Ah, you bastard. Into Octopath Traveler. I found it difficult to stick with, though. I've done this wrong. Oh, no, it's okay. But the turn-based part of it, I surprisingly enjoyed. I've always just had it in my head as like, oh, I hate turn-based stuff. But I don't know why, because I loved Pokemon when I was really young. And I think that's saying something. That was a bad time for it to so. start. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely keen to give Triangle Strategy a go. Are you joking? I didn't get that. Oh, 
That was so brutal. Octo and Tri Strat are quite different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, have I got it right in thinking that Triangle Strategy is a bit more like XCOM? I could talk about an infinite about... Hang on, I'm going to actually read this. I could talk about an infinite amount of games. It's just... It's, 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 Moonlight is a beautiful game. Oh, I, you know what? I think I tried getting into Moonlight and I couldn't. Is that the top-down one? Right. Like the uh, procedurally generated, like, kind of roguelike type thing. I've heard good things about it, but I, I just couldn't get into it. Ah, yeah, you explore dungeons and then you run a shop where you sell stuff. Yeah, that is the one I was thinking of. Extra XCOM stream would be sick. I've never actually played XCOM. The closest I've ever come to playing XCOM was playing Mario Rabbids. <laughs> Which was sick, to be fair. Um, yeah, for anyone who hasn't played Mario Rabbids and they have a Switch, it's like crazy cheap these days and it's well, well good. Thing I love about oh god. Thing I love about strategic turn-based combat, like try strat is how many approaches you can take. Yep, definitely. If you want casual to the point where even I had my mum play it, cat goes fishing is a very fun, relaxing game on stream. Nice. It's called Cat Goes Fishing. I mean, if it was any stretch in that game, I think they've mistitled it. Ah, oh, you bastard. I'm on. I'm on some sort of speed running mission now. I don't know why. God damn it. How? Oh my god, this has just gone from bad to worse. Give me a cloud. Thank you. There we go. If you ever played Gears of War games, they have a Gears XCOM game and it's so good. Nice. Gears of War is definitely one I could never get into. Not my cup of tea, really. Tell you what, though. It's probably no surprise to anybody. Breath of the Wild 2 as my RLP will forever call it. I am so unbelievably hyped for. I'm taking the day off work. And so is my wife. I'm literally going to take Emily to nursery in the morning, come back home, get in my pajamas and play Breath of the Wild 2 all day. <laughs> now that is how to be a responsible parent. Mario Rabbids 2, I absolutely have got a, a close eye on. I'm hoping... So so Mario Rabbids is... My wife is obsessed with that game. She absolutely loved it. I can hear a thing down here. She was really, really, really into it. She put in like hundreds of hours to Mario Rabbids. Um, and I'm hoping that she's kind of forgotten about... Well, she hasn't forgotten that the new one's coming out. But I'm hoping that she forgets when it comes out. Doesn't immediately buy it because that's... Uh, and, I, and also, she's not watching the stream. Um... Ah, oh, yeah, bastard. That is going to be a uh, uh, Christmas present, I think. So I'm very excited to see Mario Rabbids 2, but more specifically, I'm excited to see my wife play Mario Rabbids 2, because she loves it. I played all five main Gears games with my brothers. Brothers to the end. Nice. Well, I mean, I, Mario Rabbids 2 will definitely be in my house, so I will, I will give it a go for sure. Interesting. I don't remember this. Mamma mia, that's a lot of coins. Yeah. 
seemed kind of pointless. This is definitely one of those levels that I just make stupid jumps and take stupid risks and die. See? See? What did I just say? I literally, I called it. Man, I really am an idiot. Never too late to get into sim racing. Do you know what? I didn't I didn't mind I played the uh, I used to play the Forza games uh many years ago. I really enjoyed them. And project cars I got into a little bit, that was kinda cool. Okay, I want the mini mushroom. The mini mushroom is the best thing in this game. How do I get it? I feel like I should already be able to get it. Damn it. You know that horrible feeling when you know you've missed something. Good for that going. I'm not feeling in a completionist kind of mood. Oh no. What am I doing? Why did I do that? Oh god. That was not worth it. Uh, what do you want them to add to Breath of the Wild 2? Oof. Um. What I want them to add is, oh my god, I want them to add, and I'm sure they will, but if they're taking a lot of stuff, it looks like they're adding a bunch of places to go, they're keeping Hyrule as it was, but there are no shrines, oh god. So what I want them to add is plenty of stuff in Hyrule to make it like super fun to explore i want them to add stuff to make me want to re-explore the same area again which is like a big ask but i have faith that they will be able to do it that was cool uh more enemy variety yeah i totally agree with that co-op dungeons real dungeons Dungeons, yeah, that's the biggest thing I want them to add. And I've, I've kind of got hope, right? Because the thing in the trailer was like... Um, it, sh it, like it showed that thing on Link's hip. That has like seven things to fill. So what I'm thinking is... What better way to do that than to have like... Apologies. What better way to do that <laughs> than to revisit the um, the classic Zelda dungeons, right? They were sorely missed in Breath of the Wild. I appreciated how they they mixed it up. I appreciated the the novelty of like smaller little mini dungeons, and I think you know they changed the dynamic from dungeon, 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 dungeon to explore the overworld, explore the overworld, explore the overworld to dungeon, overworld, dungeon, overworld, dungeon, overworld, and I think that that speed, that dynamic, that pacing change was definitely welcome but i don't think i don't think they should do that again and i don't think they will do that again so for me the logical thing is to put dungeons back in like proper dungeons because that to me is about as zelda as it gets god i want to play some zelda now Oh, rescue the seven sages from dungeons. Hell yeah, dude. Can you imagine if the seven sages were in it? Imagine if we got the introduction to the sages. Oh, dude. Yeah, for sure. 
Minish Cap would be cool because they cut it from Breath of the Wild 1. They cut the Minish Cap from Breath of the Wild 1. Oh, wait, hang on. What? Breath of the Wild 2 needs more map density compared to the first game. I think map density was was perfect in the first game, honestly. I, I felt like you were able to explore the overworld and at no point was it just like walk, 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 walk. Yay! Even if it was something really minor and even if it was just like access to like a nice view, there was always something to like engage with at any point. So I think map density was fine. I think upping it would be great in certain places, but I don't think I don't think you should overdo it for sure. I do appreciate the totally too, uh, I can't talk. I do appreciate the totally open and quiet areas of Breath of the Wild. Some of it was too empty. Oh yeah, that's fair enough. Did the most recent trailer confirm the seven sage things? I don't know if I saw anything like explicitly about Oh, we're going Frosted Glacier. We're going definitely going Frosted Glacier. I didn't see anything explicitly about uh, sages, but I saw the the seven things, and that seven seven's a good number when it comes to Zelda. It's like seven pieces of the Triforce, seven sages, or, or I thought it was maybe six sages. But either way, it's like you know, like the seven maidens in the dark world of of um, Links of the Past. Um. Hey, one guitar guy. How you doing, buddy? Good to have you in. Um. You know how the title is Tears of the Kingdom, so they've confirmed that it is in fact Tears that you cry. There are tons of references to Tears within Zelda's franchise. Yeah, I uh, I I saw that confirmed as well, and I, I know there's a thing in the trailer where it's literally like there is a tear you see, like, and in fact I think the logo has those like tears in it. So I think no, not the logo, sorry, in that like artwork. They say that, that I guess what I mean is that they should maintain the same density as the map grows inside. Yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. While the idea of a bunch of little villages in Breath of the Wild's Hyrule filled with these tiny people was appealing to the development team, it was ultimately cut. With all these other characters that stand out, we thought it would be difficult for these little guys to be able to live out their own place in the game. So we really wanted to have them in there for the gameplay, but sadly had to give up on the idea. Um, didn't think we that huge. Sorry, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry, man. Thank you very much for the uh, informative message, man. That was I appreciate that. Do you know what I still think looks amazing here? Look, the lighting on Mario. Look at that. Just look at how lush that is. That, I loved how that looked like 10 years ago and I love it now. That is so nice. Um, that would be amazing. If it's like, you know, you've got like the mainland, you've got the sky and then you've got underground and then you've got like little microscopic mini. Imagine that. Imagine the whole dungeon takes place in what looks like a rock and then you just go really small. That would be freaking amazing. I would love to see something like that in, in a 3D Zelda game. Also, the sword at the bottom is Twilight Zone. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even make that connection, but it totally is. Oh, my God. If there's any reference to Midna, I will freak out. Excuse me. That would be, that would be so cool. Dude, the way this thing controls is so nice. It does exactly what you want it to do. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Nothing like a bit of applause to keep you going. Ray tracing. <laughs> it's not, yeah. This is the closest Mario will come to ray tracing for a number of years, I think. <laughs> I thought you needed to put a needed a forty ninety to put RTX Mario. That hurt my soul to type that. <laughs> Could you imagine if every temple had a homage to a previous Zelda as a thank you to the fans over the thirty five years? That would be very very cool. But I wonder. I worry that it would become a little bit too like. We're not worried. We're not focusing on the story here. We're focusing on the games and the console, and it might take you out of it a little bit. It's like it's like it reminds me of um, Fee in. Oh, do you know what? Whatever. 
It reminds me of Fee in Skyward Sword saying, Master, you, the controls, the, the uh, batteries in your Wii Remote are running low. It's like, no, dude, you're a character in the game. Stop talking about my Wii Remote. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think it would be that bad. It would be very, very, very cool. So this is what happens when you read Twitch chat instead of playing the game. You always get these run out of time. Bits. Oh, here we go. Let's go, boys. Oh, that was just beautiful. What a fiery way to end the level. I enjoyed that. But I love the I love the the thought. I love the idea. It would be amazing seeing as they barely did anything for the actual 35th. That's so true. That is so true. Mario, they had the Mario 35, which again was amazing. But they they dissed us by not keeping that game. I loved that game, man. Mario 35. I must have put about 100 hours into that while in the brief 12 months it was out. But for sure, I'm surprised they didn't do more for uh, Zelda 35. Because what do they do? They release a little game and watch looking thing. Oh, and yeah, no. In fact, did they actually do anything else? If they did, it was so exciting. God damn it. I can't even remember what it was. Not necessarily a hey, thank you kind of thing, but subtly putting it into each level. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sussy. I would be fully up for it if it was nice and subtle. Yeah, 100%. Ah. Wait. Whoa. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Because that was a lovely bit of uh, flow right there. I don't remember this level like keep me on the edge of my seat like it is currently doing. Some of the monsters specifically from those games coming back. I'm I'm all for that. Definitely, definitely. Sarcity is key, and I think a reference to old Zelda games, it will definitely make me happy, for sure. Do you know what I want, right? And I wanted this with, with Mario. I don't think we're going to get it. What I want is a Switch remake of Ocarina of Time. And I mean like a remake remake. Like, like Final Fantasy VII remake was a remake. Not a reskin. Not like an up res, not just a 16 by 9 thing. A a full-on remake of the game. What I also really, really want is a proper Switch port of Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. I want to play that game again. I don't want to play it on a 3DS emulator. I definitely don't want to play it on a 3DS. And I want to play that in, in 1080p. You don't actually need any 3D for it to work. Like, it helps in certain bits. It's nice. It looks nice in certain bits, but... That game was just so good. So, so, so good. Or what I'd like is like a proper lovely, lovely remake. Like, is that Link's Awakening style remake of Link's of the Past? I think that would fly off the shelves. I I would be the main one to be buying that. That would make me incredibly happy. Because Link's of the Past is still my number two favorite Zelda game. Oh, you bastard. Oops. What am I doing? This is the this is the part where I start to get just like 
I, got, so I start to get impatient and just start like running and just I, then I get really surprised when I keep dying. Oh, that was disappointing. Doing, what am I doing? Okay, we can relax. Jesus Christ. I think Breath of the Wild was Breath of the Wild was Nintendo's test of a lot of things. Now they know that they have a banger of a recipe, they should nail it with Breath of the Wild to being fully fleshed out. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. I just have like I'm well, maybe not so quietly, but I am just I am confident that it is gonna be a fantastic game. It might be really similar to Breath of the Wild, which is fine because Breath of the Wild is amazing. It might be really different, which is also fine because things being different and variety is a really 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 good thing and it's oh god it's what they're known for i think not necessarily doing exactly the same thing twice um and i just think the actual development team oh what a risk it wasn't worth it i'm dead um I am just confident that that dev team just knows exactly what they're doing. I thought Link's Awakening style remakes of Earthbound would happen, but it doesn't look likely. Oh, dude, that would be nice. That would be really nice. They, they are sat on just like a gold mine of stuff. Why? Why? Seriously, why are they not doing anything with it? Like, what a position to be in. Hey, Shark Boy. Why is it Shark Boy every time you join the chat? I mean, this is not a problem. And welcome. And it's lovely to have you in. Why do you always say story horse? I have to know. I, it's it's driving me mad. If they don't nail it after five or six years, I will be astonished. Yep, yeah, me too. Me too. But you know, crazy things have happened, so... Oh, what am I doing? Wow, apparently Breath of the Wild 2 is the last first party game to come to the Switch. Crazy. Do you reckon that'll be it then? It'll be it'll be Breath of the Wild 2 is out. And then what is wrong with me? And then shortly afterwards there'll be Nah, I mean would they do that though? So right, okay, so maybe this is what they're gonna do, right? Breath of the Wild 2 is gonna come out. And it's going to shift the last lot of switches that they need to sell. And then they'll go, hey guys, new console. Not only that, but that one of the launch titles for this new console is going to be the, the Switch 2 version of Tears of the Kingdom. It'll be 4K, 60 frames. Uh, so, you know, you want to carry on playing Tears of the Kingdom on your Switch, that's no problem. You do it. But if you want to play it nice, you buy the new console. Maybe that's what they're going to do. If that is true, finally, the Switch had old anemic hardware when it came out. Yeah, just, I remember, like, the, the basically the talk of it being underpowered in 2017. But, you know... They released a console at a certain price point and it's a freaking good console. And somehow they make first party games look insanely good. Like I've worked on multiple dev teams where we've had the game and then we've had the Switch version of the game. And the hoops you have to jump through to get it to even run, let alone run at 30 frames a second. Let alone have Smash Bros or like Mario Kart run at 60 frames a second or like Mario Odyssey. I don't know how they do it. I feel like they have a secret recipe that they're locked they, they keep locked away for first party games it's an irish thing story is basically the short version of what's the story i.e what's up on horse is just something called story horse ah oh, got it 
Got it. I keep thinking it's like, I keep thinking you're going like, hey, the story horse is here. I'm going to tell you a story. Every time you join the chat, I think you're going to you're going to tell me this amazing story, and it, it never happens. <laughs> so from now on, Shark Boy, whenever you join the chat, I, I want a story. I reckon Metro Prime Four is the game that will release on the Switch and the Switch Two. Personally, oh, dude, if there's a, that's the thing, what they will hopefully have learned from the Switch is that they need to launch a new console with a solid, solid game, and they launched the Switch with Breath of the Wild, and it was perfect. Metro Prime 4, it's a bit more cult than Zelda, but it, not much, and it will sell like hotcakes. They'll do Breath of the Wild on both systems like they did with Breath of the Wild 1 on the Wii U and the Switch. Yep, I agree. I think that is guaranteed. It is a bit niche. It is. It's like, it's like cult phenomenon. Like Super Metroid is technically kind of cult, but it's also huge. You know what I mean? I hope they make actual upgrades this time around. Breath of the Wild on Wii U and Switch was 99% the same thing. Yeah, uh, it was like occasional frame drops in certain areas. I think that that was basically it, right? <laughs> this one time at Bandcamp. Hey, you can stop that story right now, my dude. Oh, Nelly. All right. We said World 4. Easy. Oh, that was close. Hang on. My special move on Mario is getting a cool like item and then losing straight away. Look at the backdrop in this level. Like, this is so sick. What? Oh, God damn it. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Living between 30 and 20 and 30 frames isn't occasional, but I like your rose tinted breath of the wild goggles. <laughs> Fair enough. I never really saw it much on, on the Wii U. My wife played it on the Wii U. And she's the kind of person who it drives me mental. Like, I'll be like, look at this, look at this game, it's running at 144 frames, doesn't it look nice? And she's like, I can't tell the difference between that and when you said it was running at 25 frames. It's just like, okay, never mind. Powerful graphical hardware is, is somewhat lost on her. Uh, Aurora Borealis stuff, I believe so. Oh, God damn it, what am I doing? Ah, oh, well, I didn't really want that coin anyway. You get back here. Oh my god, this is that was an absolute Oh, that was like the sickest thing I've ever done on a Mario game. I'm gonna need someone to clip that. That was the coolest thing I've ever done on a Mario game. What the hell just happened? <laughs> uh I made it to the Master Sword part on the Wii U, dropped to 13 frames a second, and then I shelved the game for a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, dude. That part in the uh in the Switch version tanks. My dad always spouted the your open eyes can only see 90 frames a second myth. Oh dear. Parents, am I right? Wait until Simu was Breath of the Wild optimized and played the whole thing at 1440p, 60 frames a second. Nice. Playing Breath of the Wild on 60 frames a second on, on my PC is lovely. Really, like, truly lovely. 
and that's the thing new console new breath of the wild if it's in 60 frames like that would be lovely the thing is with the new console with mario with, with nintendo sorry is they need to sort out their um they're like the way they handle accounts and games tied to those accounts or the lack thereof because i do not want to be buying the same games oh, you bastard for like the fourth or fifth time over thank you Madarapi. like you think about microsoft and, and sony right you buy a game on the ps3 it's tied to your account you sign into that same account on ps4 ps5 the game is there and you can re-download it assuming the platform supports it it is pretty ridiculous that oh god pretty ridiculous that nintendo don't do that and i just feel like i'm worried they won't do that with their new console and i feel like if they don't then they are really like i don't know it's kind of a piss take really so that kind of worries me about new nintendo console because the thing is these games look really cool and they they run absolutely fine so it's i don't know it will take a lot for me to want to play want to upgrade to a new nintendo console I mean, for sure, it'll be like the Switch in terms of its, you know, functionality, handheld, but all, you can also plug it into a TV. But the whole detachable controllers and hey, like two people can play. I hope they just ditch that whole like design pillar because I'd much rather a controller that is like really comfortable to play for one person than two controllers that is also not comfortable to play but yes technically you can play with two people i don't know i'm still not a big fan really at all of playing oh good lord um of playing the switch handheld i just find the controls really quite uncomfortable i never ever play my switch handheld it's pro controller or nothing for me. It'll be tough due to how many switches they have sold and how most people don't care about resolution for each second. Yeah, 100%. What will end up being the reason you have to get a super switch? I don't know. I guess exclusives that I have to play. <laughs> but that's not a good reason. And it will piss off a lot of people who've like bought a Switch OLED, you know, in recent years or or people who just think, you know, I've got a perfectly good Switch and it's got all my favorite Nintendo games. The last thing I want to see is, hey, that game that came out on Switch, it's now out on Switch 2 and it's just like, no, no, don't, please don't do that. Can you imagine Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Super Switch version? It's like, oh, fuck. it's like, you know, that was a Wii U game that was then hits the, here's the Switch version. And if, it, if they keep doing that, I will be, I, I just think that would suck. Make it so the dock has a better GPU and the play the games at high res frame rate on your TV versus handheld mode. Yeah, I, I agree that would be cool, but I think Model P's got it absolutely right. They'd never make margins that way, not at 299 at least. Yeah, the consoles will end up being like 4, 450. And people are gonna, at that point, people are going to be like, why am I not just going to get a PS5? If the rumors are true and they're using Ampere based APU for Super Switch, the DLSS stuff will help a ton when hooked up to a big TV. That's nice. As long as they make the TV stuff look as good as possible, I am I am happy because, like I say, I, I handheld. I'm not a handheld gamer. I really am not. There's gotta be, there's got to be something like that. Come on. Oh God, what happened? Yeah, I knew it. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. 
No! No! Bugger. The LSS1 was trash, no doubt, but you, even as old school graphics snob, I've been astonished with what DLSS. So DLSS is like the, the not actual 4K, but like the upscaling to make it look like 4K. As you can tell, I am a massive scrub. Is that even roughly right? Why am I doing this level? I don't want to go to a mushroom house. It is. Okay, sweet. I'm not a complete idiot. Oh, you mother... Oh, my God. I swear to God, man, my jump button. Can't do a proper description here in chat. Look at the wiki if you really want to know how it does what it does. Okay, cool. All right, do you know what? I'm going to do this level. Have I already done this level? I think I have, haven't I? No, I haven't. I feel like I've done this level. <laughs> All right, things are going downhill. Uh, just curious, how much how much longer are you planning on going this evening? Uh, I don't know. Like maybe an hour or so. Temporal image reconstruction, upscaling using interference and 8K, 16K ground truth. Basically voodoo black magic. Okay, got it. Uh, so the last bit is all I need to uh, worry about there. Oh, God. You know when you know you know when you know you're about to do something stupid. You can't tell your brain to like stop. I did exactly the same thing on that run through as I did on the previous one. God damn it! Do you know what? Desperate times, man. I was going to be cheeky and make a suggestion for a raid afterwards. Yeah, no worries, man. You suggest away. You know what? Screw that. I'm keeping this guy. Oh, this is where you get like one up city. Okay, okay, this can be done. Except for the, like the five lives I've lost in the last five minutes. Do this to me, man. I definitely have done this level. Oh, and I died. Ah, oh, no, I'm about to die again. What's happening? Alright, this time, this time. I got it. I got it. We're going to nail it this time. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh, I got a great feeling about this one. Okay. 
Oh, that is extremely satisfying. Jesus. The girl's going to suggest a friend of mine, small streamer who streams tonight, is called Black Robed One. Got it. Well, we will see what the deal is when I am wrapping things up. Oh, my word. well problem if it's too cold in here so hang on a sec the Vulcan start at that point would have been about half a second okay nice I'm definitely gonna gonna switch it over after the stream see what it's like hey Argos how you doing man no songs this evening I'm afraid I am in no position to be playing any music but it's good to have you in Argos how you doing man that's cool. Just wanted to give him a shout out. No worries, man. Overworld music is soothing. It's nice. Oh, God, I remember this level. The thing I love about the overworld music, right, is that it's like it stays constant, but depending on which... Uh, depending on which part of the world you're in, it's like different instruments come in and out. It's, it's cool. Can't talk. All Gucci. I hope you too. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm Gucci. Oh god, I hate this level. Why, like, it's this is not fun. Just let me through. Girlfriend asleep one minute away. One minute away? One meter away. Gotcha. Life in danger. As in, if you wake up your girlfriend, you're in danger, right? That is a danger I, I understand. Oh, I did that at the wrong time. It's fine. It's cool. That was sick. Oh. That's kind of cool. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. I'm here again. This is what I mean. It's like, this is not fun. Oh, wait. Oh, bollocks. Right. There's a secret wall there. That's where I need to go. Okay. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. It's all good. I feel like these levels were lame in the old Mario's. They're lame in the new ones as well. Right, so this bit. You go like that. And then, yeah, that's the stuff. Right. 
What are the blue coins? Uh, they're nothing. They're just like, they turn up. Oh, great. I think the blue coins are the ones that spawn in with a P-switch. Otherwise, if you hit a P-switch and there are bricks, then... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Then the bricks turn into coins. I think that's it. That's all there is to it. Right, this bit I remember. This bit's kind of cool. Because you go like this, really. Feels very odd, but then you get up here and you keep going, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. No! Oh, did you see how close it was? Okay, we're going back. Ah. Oh my god, are you joking? Oh my god, are you joking? If I die now, I am gonna be quite upset. Oh my god. Oh, no. That was unbelievable. Ah, oh, let's do it again. LM3 is top notch. LM3. Is LM3. Can't, can't figure it out. Oh, Luigi's match. Yeah, I played a bit of that, actually. I played a few hours, and it was cool. I enjoyed it. As with most games, I didn't stick with it. <laughs> Apparently my attention span is, is not great. Best looking Nintendo game. I don't know, man, I think. It does look good. Mario Kart 8, it might be, I think that might be my favorite looking Nintendo game. It does look great though. Right, this time. Nah. Yes! Oh my god. This, this level does have its cool moments to be fair like that was that was pretty cool oh thank god tidy Yeah, the atmosphere and uh, and characters in Luigi's Mansion was great. Ooh, hang on a second. Have we got a warp cannon? Is that what this is taking us to? Interesting. I don't remember this. speed run it I for sure don't remember this level oh my god oh 
until they filled in that ring with red. I thought it was a spaghetti. -o. It could still be a spaghetti. -o. The in Britain we call those spaghetti hoops. <laughs> Does that surprise you, uh, you Americans? You have a, a quaint little British way of saying that. Spaghetti O's makes so much more sense, but yeah, spaghetti hoops. A man, I had spaghetti hoops recently, and they are not great. <laughs> Like, they're not as good as you remember them from when you were a kid. And also, like, what are they? Because they're not pasta. Oh, oh my god, that, I thought that was the whole life flash my eyes there. Okay, I don't want to hit that down. I need a shell. You'll do. Hey, and I got the thingy as well. Damn it. Oh, nice. There we go. I don't like this, Chrissy. No, do you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Oh, my God. Every time we come out of the pipe thing, I'm like, oh, I'm safe. I can reach out. Nope. There's got to be a secret wall here. Ah, oh, fine. Hundred percent, there's something up there. Has to be. Okay, do you know what? Whatever. Screw you, dudes. I've never seen this level. Yeah, no, me neither. I just realized that is the first time I've ever played it. Didn't know about the secret exit. I, I think I knew about that bit, but I don't remember it, it taking me this way. DK Tropical Freeze, great game. Yeah, dude, I love playing that. That really is a great game. All of those like modern 2D Donkey Kong games are freaking awesome. I know I'm going to be called crazy here, but you got to shake the can a little when you buy them and you can't... Dude, what? Oh, you're still talking about spaghetti hoops, right? <laughs> you got to shake the can a little when you buy them. And if you can't hear anything, they're not going to be good ones. I know that's crazy talk, but I stand by it. I've never heard anybody talk about some kind of like spaghetti hoop can shaking strap before. But yeah, that does sound pretty crazy. But now, oh my God, what the hell is going on? Where am I going? Whoa, we are like skipping some of the game right here. Dude, amazing. Whoa, we have just like, like jumped forward. Okay, nice. I don't know. We skipped the last, we skipped the castle in that last world. And now we are, we are here. And I think this is like the sixth world out of eight. Miss the poison world. That's fine by me, dude. That poison world is this. Oh, this is such a great world. But I have a feeling the difficulty is going to like jump. So no more messing around, guys. Okay, some messing around. Oh, I know she didn't have that guy. I think I missed the water world, the poison world, and... Oh, no! F in the chat for Yoshi. That was, that was brutal. What am I doing? Oh, without Yoshi. 
There is no way I'm making it down there. Yeah, so I missed, I missed the end of the ice world. I missed the water world, which I think you can technically miss anyway. I missed the poison world. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Because then there's this one, and then there's the cloudy one, and then there's, like, world eight. Do I want to... Oh, no, not really. We've got past the point of, like, wanting to go for all these, like cool things now and I just want to like get through it without dying. Oh, which is not going to happen. Good lord. Man, two two Fs for Yoshis, for the two Yoshis that are no longer with us. Oh, oh yeah. Yoshi. <laughs> F Yoshi. Time. F that guy. I am really, really happy with how well this is running. I've just I've just forgot that I wasn't playing on a Wii U or a Switch. And hopefully the stream is is running well as well. It's it's as far as I can tell, it's looking it's looking all right. Are you kidding, dude? Wasting time and losing your power up and dying. <laughs> I'm surprised OpenGL is running this well. You didn't have a shade of cash beforehand. I don't know. I mean, it basically when I first ran it earlier this evening, it was pretty rough. I thought, ah, oh, never mind. But I then fired it up a second time, and it's been like this the whole time. And it is nice. It is. It really is rock solid. Apart from the old stutter, which, again, it's like minimal. And it, I can definitely live with it. Yeah, I am I am really happy with this. Oh, what a shot. Are you serious? Oh god. Oh god, these things are making me very, very nervous. sure then you didn't have one from the other sources uh, I, I also don't know what that means oh 
Oh. Right, let's just chill, all right? We don't need to be all crazy. I got us in trouble last time. <laughs> things, things are rapidly deteriorating here. I need. God, I need you to come with me. Hell yeah, I don't mind losing that one up. It's fine. Oh, thank God. Isn't life just less stressful than that thing? Once that thing is out of the way. need one-ups. I have 62 lives. I do not need one-ups. Oh, my best friend is back and it's already causing havoc. Awesome. Fine. That's fine. I don't care about coins. I just want my life. Vulcan many gets rid of that. Oh, this is rough part of using OpenGL. I see. Right. Okay. The only reason I didn't sell it to Vulcan was I think CMU and in fact, this is before I upgraded, so it might have even said something a bit more promising in the upgraded version. But see me said something like experimental next to it. And I thought, okay, well, I'm asking for trouble. But then I remember um, Doom, the original Doom, or the 2016 Doom, had a thing where you could set it to Vulcan and all of a sudden everything ran like super amazing. Like even more amazingly well than it already did, which was pretty goddamn good to be honest. Right, so there's a secret exit on this level, apparently, which means I can take the train even further forward. We might even get to the last world if I can find the secret exit in this level. Whoa, okay, here we go. That don't look right. Hey, we found our first, like, actual, like, bug. That's pretty amazing that there's been one thing so far in the simulation that is just not quite right. Like, only one. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why? Why did I do that? Seriously, why did I do that? I want that mini mushroom. Though. The mini mushroom, like I say, it is the best thing ever. And I, I guarantee I'm going to need to hold on to it if I want to get to that secret exit. First breath of I've played through was jail with a full shade of cash. It went surprisingly well. Master mode has been Vulcan and is even better. Nice. Okay, awesome. I am, I am very keen to like use Vulcan in that case. No! No, I missed it! Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna die on purpose. I want that mini mushroom. I feel like that is my ticket to like the next world. Mini mushroom is needed for secret most likely. I'm 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 sure of it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good to control. Uh, okay. That was cool. That's not going to make me... No, okay. I am so nervous. I do not want to lose this. I would play a whole Mario game that just controlled like this. It's so satisfying. It's like... Uh, did anyone ever play N++? That's how it feels to control this character.
No, I don't want this. It's gonna give me some like mushroom or firepower or something. <gasps> Did you see how close that was? Nervous now. Oh, my God. Keep an eye out, boys. Oh, I see it. Wait, that's it. Right, okay. I need to think about this. Okay, I need to just run over the top of this. We did it. Oh, that's not over, is it? That's not it. <laughs> oh, God. N++ is sick. It's so good, isn't it, man? I've not played that in such a long time. But that is just true, like, platforming physics. Oh, my God. At its finest. Gonna be a boss at the end of this, isn't there? No, there's not. Oh, this, this, this has got to be right. Yeah, we did it. I'm very happy about this. Ah, oh, you're absolutely right. I should have tried that. Damn it. But it's fine. It's fine. I think I, the the red thing means it's a secret ending. And now. Although this kind of looks like, yeah, baby, look at this. What? God damn right, I want to save. So surely this is going to take us to level. Oh, it was a level. Oh god. Okay, I have definitely not seen this level before. This is cool though, this game is 10 years old and I love it and I've not seen this level before. Spine Coast levels are always the best. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is, yeah, this is sick. Oh, I do not need any stuttering right now, thank you very much. And the thing is, is, if I die, I lose my mini mushroom. And it is such a handy thing to have. Oh, my God. God damn it. God damn it. I should have saved state. Ah, poop. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. The mini mushroom got us where we needed to go. Check the cheats. Oh, no, I can't, dude. I can't bring myself to 10 cheats. Um. I've missed one of my... Damn it. Oh, nice. Oh, God. What was I doing? What the? What was the point of that?
There it is. That's it. This seems like a very precarious, like, secret. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, that turns the lights on. I guarantee it does not protect me from that slime stuff. This is just so good, man. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. That was freaking sweet, man. I I enjoyed the hell out of that. Oh, yeah. Mario time. I remember you and Nick speed running Super Mario Bros. 1 for hours, dude. That was good, good times, man. That was so much fun. Yeah. I think my final my final time was like 6 minutes 13. And I'm genuinely happy. I know that's like it's still like a minute and a half off world record, but I am like for real happy with that as a as a top score. Okay, fine. I thought that thing was gonna take us to a new world. It's not. That's that's fine. Here. Spine coaster level in the Mario Wii game. You have to jump between the two coasters above the lava is my favorite. I remember that one, dude. That was that was sick. Right, ladies and gents, I think I think I'm gonna maybe finish this level and uh, wrap the stream up because things are seizing up. <laughs> uh, and I'm happy to have made it as far as I did. But we are over the two hour mark. And I need to lie down. How'd you do the spin thing with the pro controller? This, uh, so this is the Wii U version where it didn't require a spin, like a, uh, like a shake of the controller. I think you still could, but they just mapped it to one of the R buttons. So I've been using like R2 basically. Which is a much more social way to play this game. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, yeah, sure. We can we can absolutely still raid. Yes, let's do it. Let's give this one more go. Let's use this guy. Why the hell not? Ah, oh, really? That is literally as cheesy as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's come to this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, no, that's fine. I, I didn't think I was going to hold on to it very long, so that's cool. Damn it. Uh, okay, we can... We can do this. It is a go time, Mario. Oh, 
Uh oh. That didn't look good. more like it. There we go. Your back is telling you to seize the day. My seized up back is telling me to go to bed. All right, we're going to finish this boss and then we are going to raid and wrap up the stream. But dudes, thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. It has been a very, very chilled one. It's what we needed. It's exactly what we wanted. It's what the doctor, literally is what the doctor ordered. It's what the doctor wanted. Come on. Come on. Those music blocks. Listen, changing tune. Ah, the fastest point. I definitely should have gone up a semi-tone for that key change. Not that key change, modulation. Dude! No! we go metal cover when i do love the game streams that's good to know man that's good to know i uh i often think i don't know yeah like i said before i, I often feel like gaming streams it's not what most people followed me for so I, I feel a bit weird every time i do one but it's been a long time since i don't want and i'm glad you guys enjoyed yes let's save that Nice. Well, there we go, dudes. Can we raid my mate black robed one? Let's have a little look. I'm sure that's absolutely fine. Thanks for the stream. I've been sick all week. It's been some great entertainment. Wispy, I'm sorry to hear you've been sick, man. That sucks. But, dude, I'm so happy that I can provide some chill times to make you feel a bit better. And Warhammer 40k, eh? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's give uh, let's give the black robe one a a raid. It would be super fun to do a Simon plus viewers full guy stream. But man, those time zones. That would be freaking cool, man. I would be well up for that. But yeah, you're absolutely right. I think time zones might make it a bit tricky, but I think that would be very, very cool. This is Mickle and Game Chops. It's on Spotify. It's just a, uh, look for Zelda and Chill 2 on Spotify. You'll find it. I don't have time for gaming until it's like 1am for you. Yeah. It's not often these days I'm gaming at 1am, I'm afraid, my dude. One of these days we'll figure it out, though. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to raid. Please, please, please do join us for the raid. Even if you can't stick around, it's always good fun to jump in and say hi. Thank you guys very much for hanging out and keeping me sane while I'm recovering. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um... I will be back on Monday, I believe, for hopefully a music stream. Assuming my back is not still knackered, which, you know, it might be. 
but we'll we'll see how we go anyway head on over let's let's share some love in the stream uh in the raid and i will catch you guys soon thank you very very much indeed for hanging out look after yourselves look after each other and i will see you guys very soon take it easy bye bye